Once upon a time. No, no, that's not the way to start. You'll think this is a fairy tale, and it isn't. It has elements of a fairy tale. Dragons, elves, griffins, fairies, and so on. And it has magic. Now, in my day, magic was much more commonplace. Oh, well, all things change. The arrow of time points in one direction only. So, where should I begin? Ah! Well, it's obvious I should start at the beginning. Loose With the terrible years of darkness. was the first Christian king of England. You all prisoners, no mercy, no traitors. Let the whole world die. If I die, Fortigan is here! Traitors! Fortigan, he's had all the prisoners slaughtered! Justice! came so easily then. And one tyrant smoothly passed the crown to another. Even worse. Yeah! Civil war tore the country apart. Then the Saxons came. Christian churches were destroyed and defiled. So were the sacred places of the old pagan religion. No! The followers of the old ways cried out in their agony. There was only one being who could save them. And she would come out of the land of magic.
beautiful boy. Please look after my baby. I beg you. I beg you. It's all right, my dear. Swear it. I'm dying. I swear. I'll take care of your child. Gestures save the mother. She's dying. No, she's not. She's dead. Sleep easy, child. The angels fly thee home. What's your excuse? Why didn't you save her? served our purpose. You are so cold. If I were to punch you in the heart, I'd break my fist. And to think I used to serve you in the old ways. <clears throat> then you changed. You became a Christian. Who told you that? Hmm? Uh -uh. That uh -uh. snooping, smiling blatherskite. I follow my own heart. That's religion enough for me. Why do you allow her to talk to you like that, madam? Because she needs me, idiot. Why do I need you, Ambrosia? Uh. To take care of this child. I can take care of him. than tricks to bring up a child. Any patience, understanding, love. Most of all, you need love. You used to have that once. No more. So, what have you decided? The child stays with you. But remember, he is only half human. He belongs to me. He's my son. I will send for him when the time is right. Ambrosia was like a tiger protecting me. Get out of there! And stay out! She was the bravest, kindest person I ever knew. I called her Auntie A, but she was really a mother to me. Have you noticed when you're miserable, time seems to slow to a crawl? On the other hand, when you're happy, my childhood must have been very, very happy, for it was over in a flash. Excuse their rudeness. We're traveling to Lord Lambert's castle and we lost our way. It's about a mile. Take the right fork, but don't try any shortcuts. It's dangerous and you can get lost. Thank you, sir. What can we offer you as a reward? A kiss. Do you know who you're talking to? This is the Lady Nimue, Lord Ardente's daughter. She asked me what I wanted and I told the truth. <laughs> and I think it's a fair price. Merlin. Mine's Nimue. 
And I think you're a very rude young man. I'll never forget you, Nimoy. We'll meet again. I can see it. I don't think so, Master Merlin. I'd warned Nibue not to leave the path, but she was very headstrong even then. Well, I suppose all young people are. She went off on her own. You're safe now. I told you we'd meet again. How did you do that? With the branch? I don't know. Well, whatever it was, you saved my life. You deserve another kiss. The most beautiful girl in the world, the only girl I'll ever love, I know it. And she loves me and we love each other always and... What are you babbling about? Get, you're dripping wet, take your clothes off. I'm a hero too. I saved her. Oh, yes. Now you saved who from what? Hmm? Nimue. Nimue, she's the daughter of some lord. She fell into a mud hole and I saved her. That's very brave of you, my dear. Well, the extraordinary thing was how I saved her. I had this branch and somehow I made it grow. Well, I know it sounds impossible, but I said, grow, grow, and it just grew. What's the matter, Auntie, eh? I, I need to sit down. Tell me what's the matter. <laughs> it's the moment I've been dreading all these years. It's time for you to leave. Leave? I don't understand. You were created by Queen Mab. You have no mortal father. There's magic at work here. And now she wants you to join her. I won't. You have no choice, my dear. You can't fight it. Not yet. He's talking to me. He says I have to go with him. This will keep you warm. On cold nights. Won't you? No, no, no. Keep your chin up. Magic has no power over the human heart. I love you, Auntie. I And you can tell her royal high and mighty Queen Mab that magic or no magic, if she harms you in any way, I'll have her guts for my bootlaces. It was very 
very strange. And yet it wasn't. Half of me felt all this was the most natural thing in the world. I suppose I'm to get into the boat. That feeling inside was growing stronger and stronger. I was coming home. Who are you? Shh! A catastrophe. These are treacherous waters. Strong currents. Unseen rocks. Why am I here? To learn. I will teach you to become the most powerful wizard in the world. Why? To lead mortals back to us. Oh. And the old ways. Well, what if I don't want to be a wizard? It's your destiny. Remember that branch? And how you made it grow? That's why you're here, to learn. Oh, Merlin. Merlin. You'll soon know the power that is in you. And when it is unleashed, you will hold this world in the hollow of your hand. All the magic of the universe and all the spells you will ever need are in these books, Merlin. If I'm half mortal, will I die? In the fullness of time. We cannot change that. But we can change form. <laughs> but it is only an illusion, particularly in his case. Sometimes we can see into the future. This is you, as you will be. 
Will I grow that old? Have a care, young Merlin. Sorry, sir. No, <laughs> but you're right. Try and stay as young inside as you are now. That's another thing to watch out for, young Merlin. Don't start giving advice. <laughs> Frick, it's your turn. Now, Master Merlin, there are three classes of magic. Three stages of progression to full wizard status. <laughs> the first and lowest stage is wizard by incantation. Abracadabra de Venture. The second stage wizards are hand wizards, whose magic is performed by gestures of the hands and fingers. The third and highest stage of wizardry, the supreme exponents are wizards of pure thought, who need no words nor gestures, but by their will alone, pierce the heavens. <laughs> Of course, only the most supremely gifted personages become wizards of the third stage. No, get on with it. Yes, madam. <clears throat> Any questions? <sighs> I studied day and night and learned of those unseen forces that hold this world together learnt the secret ways of other worlds that exist beneath the surface and behind the mirrors. Now you try it. Mm, must I? Yes! Right hand, sir, right hand. Now, Master Merlin, put it out. Left hand, concentrate. Mm. That happened because you didn't concentrate. Well, how is he doing? Did you read my report, madam? Yes, yes, but I want your personal impressions. Well, I mean, I rather think he's got the ability. He could indeed be the greatest. I knew it. But he never will be. He can't get past being a hand wizard. He doesn't want to do it. In his heart, he doesn't like magic. He doesn't like it. Well, I, I, I know it sounds shocking, but I mean, that's the way it is, isn't it? Well, we've got to make him like it. I have work for him to do. The, the truth is, he wants to go home. I didn't. You did. Who are you? The Lady of the Lake. How are you getting on with my sister, Mab? We two don't get on. Why? I don't approve of what she's been doing. Creating you and letting your mother die like that. She let my mother die. Oh, dear. I shouldn't have told you, but it just slipped out. I'm going home. You should. Your auntie Ambrosia is very ill. <gasps> oh, Master Merlin. Where is he? Get across the lake. My dear sister. Oh. 
If I may say so, madam, it really would help matters if you two could agree to... Why would you advise our house for a frick? As you wish, madam. What are you going to do? I'm not going to lose him. again. Still a chip off the old iceberg, I see. Oh, please. Don't bother to knock. Where's Merlin? You've lost him, haven't you? Well, I must say it's typical. You've been sliding down the ladder of success so quickly these last few years. You must have got splinters in your backside. Mm. Don't provoke me, Ambrosia. I'm in no mood for your jibe. Well, I'm anxious about him, too. You should have taken better care of him. <laughs> He'll be here. He's heard you're ill. I'm not ill. I'm dying. When he comes, you must send him back. Oh, can't you make him come back? It's better that you tell him his place is with me. No, I won't do that. Do you defy me? Of course I defy you. I've always defied you. Why? It's my nature. When my boy comes here, I'll say not one word. He'll do what's in his heart. Mistress of magic. <laughs> Auntie A. Auntie A. You killed my real mother. No, I only let her die. You are having the power to strike me. Watch my power grow. That's very good, Merlin. I'm oh. impressed. I'll never forgive you. I'm sorry about your mother and Ambrosia, but they were casualties of war. I don't care if you die and disappear. I will, unless I fight and win. I'll never help you. You will. I'll make you. I swear, on Ambrosia's grave, in the grave of my mother, I'll only ever use my powers to defeat Queen Mab. On this I swear. And thus I set my course. I knew Mab had hurt me. But right from the start, she believed she could make me break my oath. After all, part of her was in me. So she waited patiently in the shadows for the time when she could strike and make me see the error of my ways. So the world turned and turned again. The rain fell on the just and unjust alike. 
Men and women were cut down like wheat to be born again strong. Mab had to wait years, but it didn't matter. Those years passed as if in seconds. And then she found a way of making me break my oath. It's a fine position for a new castle. Don't you think, Lord Ardente? It will be impregnable, Your Majesty. No army can take it. Not even Uther's. My Lord Uther is in Normandy, sire. My spies tell me he's raising an army and getting ready to sail for England. <clears throat> he wants to kill me. I don't blame him. I killed his father, King Constant. King Constant was a tyrant. <laughs> Not unlike myself. Yes, sir. Uh, no, no, sir. <laughs> no, no. You don't sound very convincing, my lord. What I'm interested in is, in case we'd have to fight, whose side would you be on, his or mine? I have always been loyal to your majesty. I've pledged my entire army to you. True, up till now. Trouble is, I don't trust anyone. I want guarantees. You have my word, sire. It's not good enough. I'm keeping your daughter Nimue, just to be sure. Guards! This is outrageous, sire. I'm sorry. King Vortigan, whatever you do to me, my father would do what he's right. Of course he will. If you stay loyal to me, she'll be safe. But if you betray me, I will kill her myself. Father! Father! How does it go? Progress. Uh, fine, sire. Fine. The linnets on the west side need bolstering. Tell me roughly what happened. Don't know, sire. Guards! Fire! Take him away! It shouldn't have done that. It's the linnets. I'm sure it's the linnets. Get me a different architect! Hey, you! You! <laughs> Why won't it stand? I'm a soothsayer, Your Majesty, not an architect. If you are a soothsayer, you should know. Mm -hmm. Tell me why it is that every time I try to rebuild the tower, Collapses. Ah, well. Uh, <clears throat> yes, indeed, yes. Um, mm, 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 you think I should know that, sir? Yes. Yes, yes. Well, I'll, I'll read the stones. Then read them. Oh, I will, sir. I will. That's something I do very well, sir. Very well. Why is it that I surround myself with a bunch of incompetent fools? I've been a worshipper of the old ways all my life. Now, that life is in danger, and it's a precious life. It's mine. I've never had any real help, no, not never. Oh, what am I going to do? I've no idea why his tower keeps falling down. The land is cursed. You've appeared. You've appeared after all these years. It is. It is Queen Mab. Yes, old man. Oh, Majesty. The land is cursed. Neither tower nor castle will stand. So, what do we do? You must find a man who has no mortal father and mix his blood with the mortar. Oh, <laughs> splendid. But, um... A man who has no mortal father. Uh, mm, where can I find a man like that? 
I will show you. Welcome to my home, sir. <laughs> what can I do for you? I'm the king's Susa. An important position. <gasps> and a fragile one. I'm the third royal Susa this year. Water can get through them at an alarming rate. He gets through everything at an alarming rate. <clears throat> it seems to be holding. It will hold this time, Your Majesty. Never fear. Never have. Good, good. The foundations are as solid. You were saying? Oh, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I found it. The man. Without a mortal father. This better not be one of your tricks. No, 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 sire. It's all true. Well, there's only one way to find out. Get a bowl. Cut his throat. Do it now. What's the matter with you? He's a wizard. He doesn't look like much of a wizard to me. I never did anything to you. Why do you want to cut my throat? It's nothing personal. I have to mix your blood with the mortar for the castle. This old fool tells me it's the only way to make the building stand. It's easy to die, knowing you'll die for your country. I may first offer some advice. Your Majesty's in danger of seeming a little stupid. <gasps> what did you call me? Stupid. <laughs> this man thinks he's me. Why would you call me stupid? Because it's obvious why you can't build a castle there. Look. I'm looking. I don't see anything. Can't you see the stream? It runs into a great cavern below. The water's there, I swear. I can see it. We can all see You wanted to build my castle on water. <laughs> That's not all it's wrong. You work on the dragons. Dragons? What dragons? I see two dragons. One red, one white. My crest is a white dragon. It's an omen, wouldn't you say, sir? What else did you see? The red dragon conquered the white. It's an omen, wouldn't you say, sire? It could be an omen. Your Majesty. Prince Uther has landed from Normandy with a great army. He's marching on Winchester. You foresaw all this. I see things unknown. Gather my armies. We march on Winchester. I've been fighting my enemies for 15 years. Every time I crush one, another one takes his place. Will it ever end? Perhaps you need me to foretell the future, then you could crush them all before they get a chance to cause trouble. Uh, of course, then you wouldn't be able to cut my throat. You're an extraordinary man. I can't have extraordinary men running around. You're not quick enough. That's a mistake many of my enemies make. They think before they act. I act before I think. That's my advantage. And you. You're out of a job. Oh, yes, sir. Tie the wizard. Come on, quick, before he changes his mind.
fake. How are you? Overworked and underpaid. How terribly sweet of you to inquire. You're in serious trouble this time, Master Merlin. How did they ever make a Bulgarian like Vortigern king? You mortals have no sense of the fitness of things. Quite appalling. Mm. At any rate, I'm here with a message from Mab. Naturally. She's going to punish you. She hates me. No, but she's rather disappointed that you refuse to use your magic power. I swore an oath in Ambrosia's grave, Frick. But why won't you use the Master Mab? Because Mab wants me to. You will in the end, you know. You're half human. She's a terrible enemy, Master Mab. And a very poor employer. Well, I mean, I could tell you stories. But enough of my problems. It is you, Mervyn. What are you doing here? I'm a hostage. Vortigan wants to make sure that my father doesn't join Prince Uther. Why was he going to? No, but he doesn't trust anybody. It's dangerous being near him. No one knows who he'll strike down next. Seems I said the wrong thing. I told him Uther would defeat him. I hope you're right. <laughs> what is the matter? Are you ill? No, no, it's just I, I need space to breathe. These four walls are suffocating me. Never wait. <laughs> I've never forgotten you. All these years. I've always remembered you, Merlin. Uther has captured Winchester. He's unstoppable. I'll stop it. I didn't send for you. That's why I'm here. I've killed men for such insolence. And women? And children. <laughs> I'm trembling. What makes you so brave, woman? Knowing that if you hurt me, my father and his men will join Uther. All right. You're here now, so what is it you want? Merlin, the wizard, is sick. Get him a physician. There is no cure, but his freedom. I can't give him that. Well, then he'll die. We all die, eventually. Even wizards. But if he does, you will not know about the battle. He has had another vision. Don't you want to know how to win? Strongest army Britain has ever seen. It may not be enough, Your Majesty. Uther and his men follow the Christian way. I thought they didn't believe in killing. Oh, they'll kill in a holy cause. And destroying you is a holy cause. How convenient they kill when it suits them. Like the rest of us, sire. When will he attack? Not before the spring. Good. We'll use winter as our ally. We'll take him by surprise. Merlin, I need your help. How are you? I know I've been a little hot-tempered. 
Patience is not one of my virtues. Oh, you have so few of those, I wouldn't concern myself about that one too much, sir. How can I help you? Can Uther be defeated? I dreamed a battle near Winchester. I couldn't see how it ended. I was too weak. Dream it again. I want to know who wins. And I want fresh air and light. Without them, I cannot dream dreams, see visions. Is that all? Way over there, beyond those hills, is an island called Avalon. Joseph of Arimathea came there from Jerusalem with the Holy Grail, the cup our Lord Jesus Christ used at the Holy Supper. It has the power to feed the hungry and heal the sick. But the Holy Grail was lost to us. Many men search for it, but no one has ever seen it since. But one day, a man with a pure heart will find it, and peace and happiness will return. It's a lovely story. And so are you. Oh, they hurt memories. Memories of love, they hurt. Our world was tearing itself to pieces, and I didn't care. Those were truly the happiest days of my life. Are you really a wizard? A hand wizard. You mean there is magic in hands? Uh, yes. Well, for one thing, hands can say so much more than words. They can uh, welcome, beg, pray. They can... Hands can even... Keep everything as simple as the roundness of the moon. Look at its simplicity in the way. Everything equal, no part more important than the rest. I thought you weren't going to do any magic. Oh, it wasn't magic. Magic is real. Just a trick. Open the gate! Open the gate! Hey, Vortigern, King of Britain. I am Mab, Queen of the Old Ways. What brings you here, madam? What will this alliance cost me? There's a price to everything. The wizard, Merlin. I want him. He is too valuable to me. He sees things. He has visions. Anyone can have visions. Don't you see visions? Don't you see yourself winning? Yes. But I don't see why you would want to help me. I would rather see you on the throne than Uther. I don't believe in your old ways. You. You don't believe in anything. I believe in me. That's not enough to make us win. I understand. Uther will bring Christianity to the people, and that'll be the end of you. All right, I'll give you the wisdom. So tell me, how do I defeat Uther? Sacrifice him away to the great dragon. That's not so easy. Ethics?
I can't do that. She's my hostage. It keeps her father loyal to me. Urgent news, Your Majesty. Lord Ardent has defected. He's joined Prince Uther. How convenient, madam. For both of us? The girl dies. Let Melon watch. Like Joseph of Arimathea, I went to Avalon, not with the Holy Grail, but with something much more precious to me. Sisters! <laughs> Whilst the monks prayed and I thought of revenge, the nuns were more practical. They used their knowledge of ancient herbs and potions to try and save my only love. Merlin? She is very badly wounded. The sisters are doing all they can, but you must pray with us. Why should I pray to your God if he is going to take her from me? But this is not God's work. 
By rights, it isn't. Do you know who did it? Oh, yes, I know. destroyed everyone I love. My mother, Ambrosia, and now Nimaway. The end justifies the means. I did it for you. I want you to use the power in you. Rise up, dear, dear Merlin, and be great. No, Mab. I'll destroy you for what you've done to me. You can't, Merlin. I'll always be too strong. Find a way. I will find a way! Never. Not ever. Don't try to speak. Save your strength. Don't, don't turn your face to the wall. My lady of the lake, it is I, Merlin. I need help. fought again. He's Mab's ally and a tyrant. Good king. Bad king. You judge too easily, Merlin. You'll learn. I give you Excalibur. heard the sword song, and it was beautiful. Now, armed with the sword of the just, I was going to face another dragon, a red one. It was Uther's crest, and I was about to make it supreme, if he'd let me. Welcome to Winchester Castle, Merlin. Oh, are you Merlin the Wizard? Wizard? 
We're Christians here, sir. We don't believe in your blasphemy. Well, that's your choice, sir. But pagan or Christian, I hope you believe in fresh news. Well, is it good or bad? That depends how you use it. Vortigern will attack you within days. <laughs> Look, no one fights in winter. It isn't done. Rules of war. We fight in summer. We rest in winter. Vortigern isn't interested in rules and traditions. He wants to win. And if circumstances were different, I would favor him. His army's already on the march. Take it or leave it. Why are you telling me this? Vortigern is the friend of my enemy, Mab. So my enemy's enemy is my friend. And besides, I've already seen the red dragon defeat the white. And I think that you might make a fair to decent king. Oh, you think so, do you? King Constant wasn't. You'd have to do a lot better than your father. But I offer you my services as a wizard. You were right about Vortigern. What a fool to fight in winter. Perhaps I was the fool, thinking the winter would make me safe. But we'll be ready for him now. We must choose our battleground, sire. Here. We fight him here. <laughs> you mean by the river? On it. He has to come down here through the pass and cross on his way to Winchester. Luther. This is where you meet Vortigern and crush him. Madam. Uther knows you're going to attack. He's waiting for you. I wonder who told him I was coming. Marlin? Dragon didn't kill him. What about the girl? She's alive. So much for your magic. It doesn't matter. I never believed in it anyway. You're a very brave man, Vortigern. But so stupid. You have to believe in something now. Like what? I've been king for 20 years. I've never been defeated. I didn't use any magic. I did it with my bare hands. What is it? It'll protect you. What are you afraid of, man? The world is passing you by, leaving you behind.
Are you going to use some of your magic on me, Merlin? I'll kill you any way I can, Vortigan. But I will kill you. <laughs> Only one tear was shed for Vortigan, and his pride had cast it away. He paid for it with his life. That is a mighty sword. It is Excalibur. It can only be used by a good man in a good cause. I understand. I thought I could now spend time with Nimue. I thought Uther would be a good king and so help defeat man. But I was never a good judge of men. I always expected too much of them. Your Majesty, may I present my wife, the Lady Egren? And my daughter. You are welcome to Pendragon, my lady. And you? Morgan Le Fay, Your Majesty. Cornwall, would you permit me to dance with your lady after the feast? If your majesty pleases. Oh, yes, yes. It will please his majesty very much. Merlin. Uther. Crane. She's beautiful, isn't she? Beautiful and somebody else's wife, but still beautiful. What does the rest matter? So they say. Do some magic for me. If you wash behind your ears. Mm hmm. That's not real magic. It's a trick. Anyone can do it. Hmm. All right, you do it then. <laughs> there, you see, I did it. You're right. Anyone could do it. All good. Come on. He hardly had the crown on his head before it began all over again. I decided to leave and let them stew in their own juices. Merlin! May I ride with you? Of course. I believe in you, Merlin. And I knew of her. How great is your power? Can you make a woman love me? <laughs> Magic can't create love. Did you kill her husband? 
Igraine, I want a Merlin more than I've ever wanted anything in the world. Well, you can't have her. Do you know what love is? <laughs> yes, Ruth, I'm sad to say I know what love is. Give me Igraine. She's not mine to give. Then I'll take her. Even if it means war. It will. So be it. I have Excalibur. Very well. Give me the sword. I shall make a spell. comes to take it from you. Then I will be holding it forever. If not longer. <laughs> you trick me, Merlin. Come, come, Uther. I'm a wizard. That's my business. The sword is yours if you can take it. Avalon. Journey's end, Sir Rupert. I certainly hope so. <sighs> you know, we're not as young as we used to. <laughs> quite, quite. Come on over. I'm not ready for you to see me. Let me be the judge of that. Leave this place and come with me. I'm, I'm not ready to face the world. When will you be ready? I don't know. Three months siege and we still haven't taken it. There's no way across the causeway, sire. My advice to you is give it up. It's madness. I must have a grain. As one who's been to cultures, sire. As one who knows a few things, I have to tell you that the kingdom is falling apart whilst we tear ourselves to pieces. If this was for money or love or power, I could understand it. But all this for Cornwall's wife? <laughs> you were born old, Boris. You've never known what it is to lust after a woman. I've spent all my life fighting. Bloody days and cold nights with a naked sword as my bedfellow. You'll never take it to Tajo. Oh. 
hundreds are dead because you have an itch. Will you help cure me of that itch? You've lost your reputation, Ilse. And reputations like glass, once cracked, can never be repaired. Will you help me? I don't know you anymore. You've become an Ouroboros. You'll devour the world in your lust. Will you help me? Yes, I'll help you. I have to be mad to stop this madness. What will it cost me? You will have the Lady of Grain. There will be a child, a boy. I've seen him, Uther. He's mine. What will you do with him? Teach him honor and goodness. I can do that. Honor and goodness, the words stick in your throat. You choke on them just as you're choking your vomit in the end. Very well. I agree. Once more, Cornwall will not be harmed. Not by me. Now break camp. Store your army now in daylight while Cornwall can see you. Uther's breaking camp. We'll follow him. Don't leave, my lord. Why not? I have a feeling that's... Castles will guard you. You'll be safe, my lad. Look after your mother, eh, Morgan? I will, father. until the morning. The night is your friend. Use it. <laughs> you don't approve? Well, of course I don't approve. The end justifies the means, Sir Rupert. Where have I heard that before? <laughs> it's Lordship Cornwall approaches! Open the gates! Open the gates! Lordship returns! My lord. So soon, my lord. Yes. Yes. Uther's really gone. Mother! My place is here with you. Mother, that! Oh, that's for you to go to bed, little girl, huh? Let me go! No, not, not another word. But I didn't say good night. Uther had betrayed me, killed Cornwall. But then I'd betrayed Igraine by helping Uther seduce her. So the wheel of life turns, one betrayal leads to another and another. The innocent die. It haunted me for the rest of my life. <laughs> Talk for a gnome, aren't you? 
Well, as a matter of fact, gnomes do indeed come in all shapes and sizes. I'm the tall kind. Can you do magic? Of course. Watch. Ah, beautiful lady. I'm at your service. Your wish is my command. <laughs> Watch me swash up. <laughs> That's real magic, not Twix. Will you teach me how to do that? I certainly shall. If you do something for me. <laughs> Your new baby brother will be born soon. How terribly exciting, don't you think? He's not my real brother. The man who made him wasn't my real father. Well, I mean, that's clever, Morgan. Hmm. You make a wonderful pupil for the fantastic things I can teach you. What do you want me to do? Just put this stone in the baby's crib. So Arthur was born. It's a boy. <sighs> At last. A good man, a good king. You're easily fooled, Merlin. Uther fooled you when he killed Cornwall. Now his child is damned. The boy is mine. He'll be his father's son. Because of him, the chaos of blood will go on and on. And out of it, the people will come back to me. I'll see you fade into nothing! Poor Merlin. Wrong again. I'm winning. thought of people peering, whispering, pointing at me. Oh, we live in the forest. Animals don't point and whisper. <laughs> but it's a dream, Merlin. I want to make it real. I found a peace here, in prayer and meditation. It is a peace that I've never known before. That's the real understanding. To be honest, Nimue, it passes my understanding, too. Why do you shut yourself away here? To be nearer my God. The nearer you are to him, the further you are from me. Will you take off that veil? Mm -hmm. Where was I? Oh, yes, yes. Arthur had just been born. I fostered him with Sir Hector. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Now, by others... I was his tutor. I didn't teach him magic. I taught him ethics and morals. Which is much more difficult, believe me. His real father, King Uther, went mad. Kill the prisoners! <laughs> and killed himself. <laughs> and that brings us up to date, I think. Arthur grew up to be a fine young man. Perhaps as usual, I expected too much of him, but he was the vessel of all my hopes. Arthur, don't charge around like that. The horses don't like it. And don't get off. We're leaving right away. Merlin, have you heard the news? Wilford. King Uther's dead. Didn't you hear what I said? The king's dead. I know. 
No. How could you know out here in the woods? Little bird told me. Where are we going? To make you king. Merlin! Tell me! How can I be king? Because you were born to it. I've no royal blood in me. Merlin! <laughs> Stand aside! This is a job for a man! Little windbag back again. He's not careful. He'll do himself an injury. <laughs> 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 Arthur kept asking me, but I wasn't ready. The truth about his father, the death of Cornwall, my part in the whole squalid plot. No wonder I found it hard to tell him. Besides, I was distracted. I did nothing. I wasn't talking to you. What was that? That... That was a message... from an old friend. Arthur wanted me to explain. Can you tell me? He couldn't know that explaining everything settles nothing. Yes, it's... it's time. I hoped he'd understand my part in it. Arthur... You should know that... Sir Hector isn't your real father. Your father was King Uther, and you... are the true heir to the throne. It turned out better than I'd hoped. If I am Uther's only son, I want what's mine. I want to be king. Mm. When you are king, what then? Well, I... Ooh. Ooh. What? What is it now? He has the right way. You were saying, if you were king. I'd do all the things that you taught me. I'd build a golden city. Devoted to peace and charity. What the world needs is justice and compassion more than charity. Still, Camelot sounds like a dream worthy of a king. Come on, Rupert. the sword of the true king. It is yours, Arthur. Merlin, it seemed you were here only a moment ago. My lord, 
This man claims Excalibur. Who is it? Arthur, only son of Uther and rightful king of Britain. Why give him the sword? He will betray the people just as his father did. I don't know what I'll do or what I'll become. Only what I am. A wise answer. I had a wise teacher. He will destroy the old ways. You will be forgotten, just like the rest of us. That is your fear, not mine, man. I cannot die. I am the Rock of Ages. I will live forever on the edge of dreams. Take it now, Arthur. Now, Arthur! to do that before over anyone. Oh, enough. Uh, Arthur's cursed. I want everyone to know in good time. And that will be your job, Vic. Luther was my cousin. I claim the throne by right. You did not pull the sword Excalibur from the rock. No, I did. You all failed. My father is king by right of blood. That's better, isn't it, my lords? Now you can listen instead of fighting. It should be a novel experience for most of you. Uther had a son. I give you Arthur, true king of Britain. <laughs> Uther had no son. Everyone knows that. He did. Uther did have a son. When? When Uther conquered Tintagel, he took the Lady Igraine. The son was born. It's true. I was there. Arthur? Is Uther's son? If he is, let him draw Excalibur from the stone. I already have. Well, prove it. Prove that it is Excalibur. Uther's son. 
I acknowledge you, my liege lord and king. And so do I. He has the sword. Accept him, Lot. Never! I'll not bend my knee to a boy, nor will my son. I can speak for myself, father. He has Excalibur. He is the king. Gawain. Don't go against your own father. If the cause is just. And if it's not, then you're wrong. Then you'll have to kill me in battle. I'm the king's man, father. So be it. My lords, hard as it may be for you, think for a moment. We have seen too many wars. My mind's made up. My, you've grown. Who are you? Don't you remember me? I used to visit you when you were very young. Mm -hmm. ah. you were a dream. I'm real. You lied to me. You told me you'd make me beautiful, but you never did. I told you I'd make you beautiful, did I? Hmm. Then I will. But first it's time to put away childish things. Huh? Why so sad? It's just a toy. Look at yourself. Very, very beautiful. I think clothes cut in the Roman style are the only gowns for a lady of fashion. Hmm? Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> now, get me the throne. That's beyond my powers. I'll tell you from personal experience mm. that elves mm. are so short that when it rains, mm. they're the last to know. <laughs> <laughs> because of their size. Yeah. Yeah. Finish! <laughs> Stop enjoying yourself and get on with it. I've been thinking, Morgan, that there might be a way of giving you what you want. Your son could be king. Well, how? If Arthur defeats Lord Lot, he'll be king and I can't marry him. You don't have to marry him to have his son. We have the same mother. And underneath this charming and devilishly handsome exterior, I'm a crabby old no. Does it matter? Not a bit. <laughs> you don't have to seduce me to win me over. Like everyone else. I want the crown. I like you more than I am. You're a truthful young woman. And I like you. Whoever you are. Wait for my signal. He'll be killed. Merlin! What the devil does he think he's doing?
There is no reason why men should die today, my lord. The quarrel is between us. It is. This is Excalibur, the sword of the true king. If you believe you have a right to it, take it. And kill me. Forgive me, Arthur. I can feel it. The sword is yours. You are the true king. The war is over! Yeah! And let this circle be a symbol of our purpose. Each man in it is equal to the other. Each has a voice. And each will strive to fight for truth and honor. Let us pray. I thought I'd finally achieved one of my dreams. At last, there was a good king on the throne. Your Majesty, may I present Lady Marie, Queen of the Borakels, who comes to pay you homage. You are most welcome, my lady. Lady, we are overwhelmed by your gifts. Perhaps I and my servants can join you for the night. We've had a long, tiring journey. And we like to rest before we return home. Of course. We can spend some time together. Your people. It will be my pleasure. Your Majesty. I rode fast that day, but I knew I was already too late to stop something that could finish us all. 
Out, my lords. Out! And close the door behind you. Merlin, what's the matter? Tell me the truth, Arthur. Two nights ago, you slept with a woman. Yes. If you must know, I did. Though I don't see why I need to tell you about it. That was Morgan Le Fay. Her mother was the Lady of Grain. Your mother! I didn't know. I swear, I didn't know. There will be a child. Mav will see to that. He'll be the future, and he'll destroy us. in Avalon. You see how it can change you? You've changed me already. You scarred me. That was evil. With evil all around me, I can do nothing but evil to survive. Oh, that's too easy. You can fight it like Merlin. It's because of Merlin that all this came about. That's not true. Why are you here, ma'am? To make you an offer. I will restore your beauty. If you take Merlin to a place that I have created for you, you can live with him there to the end of your days. And be happy. And be happy. He has a destiny. It would keep him from his purpose. It would keep him from wasting his life. He believes that fighting for what is right isn't a waste. I wouldn't do that to him. I love him. I love him. You hate him. I hate him too. For what's your answer? No. I'm sorry. If you change your mind, just call my name out loud. I couldn't stay away for long. Arthur was more to me than just a king. And I was curious to see what was going on. Merlin! It's good to see you, old friend. What's all this, Arthur? A promise made flesh. I'm building the city of Camelot. It's a new beginning. I made a mistake that night with Morgan. But I can't believe that I'll be condemned for all eternity for one mistake. No, not by me. I'll never condemn you, Arthur. I'm to marry Lord Leo's daughter. Ah, do you love her? 
She will make a splendid queen and be a good wife. We hope to get married here at Camelot. It doesn't matter if it's not finished. Will you be there with me? I'd be honored. What's her name, your bride? Guinevere. I was going to Tintagel Castle. Perhaps Arthur wouldn't have been so eager to leave on his quest for the Holy Grail if he'd known what a terrible enemy he would leave behind in Morgan Le Fay. Merlin is here to see you, my lady. Send him in. You hear that, Mordred? There's a wizard come to see us. Won't this be fun? My Lady Morgan, do you know why I'm here? Say hello to my son, Mordred. Master Mordred. <laughs> hmm, that was rude, Mordred. You can do anything you like, but you must never be rude. Rude is being weak. You were saying, Merlin? Do you know why I'm here? Hmm, it's to do with my son. Hasn't he grown? Yes, he has, and rather more than is natural, I have to say. Oh, of course. It's magic. Morgan, I beg you, for the sake of the country, you must not teach him the old ways. Oh, this country means nothing to me. A bastard sits on the throne that should be mine. A bastard begot in blood when his father, Uther, seduced my mother and killed my father. It's the future I'm thinking of, Morgan. Oh, you would think of the future, Merlin. Because the past is too painful. You chose Uther to be king. You helped him seduce my mother. And destroyed me. In the end, you begot Mordred. Just as surely as Queen Mab and Arthur. I know that, but I can live with it. Just as you'd have to live with the fact that Mordred will be king. No, that can never be. Mordred, Merlin's a guest. Don't be naughty. He just wants attention. You'll get all you want when you're king. And you will be, Merlin. He's Arthur's son. What about the old ways, Morgan? Well, you're in no position to lecture me on what I can or can't do. Besides, the old ways have been good to me. They've given me a son and made me beautiful. Oh, poor Morgan. It's only an illusion. Beauty is always only an illusion, Merlin. Didn't you know that? We thought we'd come in the traditional way, through the door. It's traditional to open at first. Mordred, look who's here. Your Auntie Mab and Uncle Frank. <laughs> It's been ages, Master Merlin. Do you ever think of the old school where I tried to teach you the fundamentals of magic? He could have been my star pupil, Morgan, but he proved... Disappointing. But you won't, will you, Mordred? Isn't he handsome? Handsome is as handsome does. What does that mean? I've never really understood the phrase. Toys, Mordred. Mm. Auntie always brings you lots of lovely toys. You see, Merlin, you took my family away from me, and now I have a new one. It won't last, Morgan. Nothing does. Can't you see it? Feel it? I'm winning, Merlin. I have the precious gift of patience. It'll be years before Mordred can claim the throne, but I can wait. Time means nothing to me. You'll be the death of Arthur. And the end of all poor Merlin's dreams. Won't you, my sweetie? Oh, look. The big bad wizard cut to a thing. Oh! <laughs> Run! <laughs> Run, wizard! Merlin, you're 
got troubled again. Still the same cry for help, lady. Your sister Mab grows more powerful. And I grow weaker. What can I do? I, I have to find a man to guard the throne while Arthur goes questing for the Holy Grail. The temptation will be to seize the crown when he's gone. You need a man pure in heart. Try to find him before he doesn't exist. The answer is at Joyous Guard. My ship will take you. It was like a dream, a dream of a dream. The skies parted, and I saw the dream come alive before my eyes. Then, one day they'll describe me, Arthur, Guinevere, and Camelot as a dream. Who are you? I'm Merlin, the wizard. There aren't any wizards left. I'm the last of them. But who are you? Galahad. My mother is the Lady Elaine, and my father is Sir Lancelot. I've come here to find a man to defend King Arthur and his kingdom. But he must be a good man, pure in heart. You found him. It was all too easy. Are you sure this is what you want? It's not what I want. It's what you want. I can't hold you back. It's your chance for one last great adventure. I should have known. Galahad! Protect your mother while I'm away. My lords, ladies, knights of the realm, I shall leave soon on a God-given quest for the Holy Grail. Now I seek a champion to protect our country and the honor of our fair queen while I'm gone. I claim that honor, sire. Oh, Gwaine, I hope that you don't win. You know I need you to come with me. Should have let me compete in the tourney, sire. You're too old, Sir Boris. Of course he's too old, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty, I wish to vouch for Sir Lancelot of the Lake, who wants to enter the jousts. So be it, Merlin. <laughs> Say, my lady? Nothing. Your Majesty, I offer you my sword and my life. It is an honor, brave knight. As champion, <laughs> Lancelot shall. How is he? Fair to middling, considering we haven't taken the lance out yet. 
And why not? There is a dispute, a scholarly dispute, as to whether we take it out con or contrawise, which means to the mere layman turning and pulling it to the left or to the right. Contra. Is there anything I can do for you, Sir Lanson? <sighs> Yeah. Hold my hand, lady. Jupiter and Mars. No, turn and pull, Conwise. The planets of Venus and Uranus will be the dominant influences. Your physicians, instead of arguing about it, do it. Do it? We must talk about it first. Indeed. These are weighty matters fit only for experts. Trust us. If we treat a knight for a broken arm, that is what he'll die of. That's enough. Enough! Lancelot, are you ready tonight? Do it, Gawain. They left to chase dreams, shadows. But if I told them, they wouldn't have listened. And so the years rolled on, one year merging into another, and another. If you five gentlemen don't stop trembling, I might miss and kill you all. You mustn't get carried away, my sweet. It shows lack of control. Why fire at Auntie Mab and Uncle Frick? I do hope that the boy is just having fun and it's nothing personal. Of course it's not personal. He likes you. I often wonder what he would do if he didn't like me. Stop fussing, Mother. Auntie Mab understands, don't you, Auntie Mab? Oh, of course I understand. You were testing yourself. Now, come and sit by me. You know you're my favorite, Mordred. But you have to channel your aggression. Against Arthur? Yes, always Arthur and Merlin. You're looking pale, Mordred. You're not eating enough. I already have the strength of ten men. Listen to your aunt. And please do something about your hair. Very well, mother. There's a good boy. The work is going much too slowly. But you keep on changing your mind, Sir Lancelot. First this, then that. I'm doing my best, sire. Well, you've got to do better than that. How could I do better than this? You're all alone, my lady? Merlin is my faithful shadow. That's right and proper. Why not you? You're my champion. Because when I'm near you, I can't control my heart. You're near me now. It's dangerous. My lady? Yes. My lady? Perhaps we should be grateful for my shadow. What's wrong, Merlin? The walls are whispering, Guinevere. Can't you hear them? No. What do they say? That you're too friendly with Sir Lancelot. Do you believe such whispers, Merlin? 
Ah, but I've seen how you two look at each other. I don't care what others think. I'm a queen. That is why you must take special care. I can't protect you in this matter. Auntie, you're looking extraordinarily pleased with yourself. What have you done? Is it terrible? Do tell. I'm sure it's perfect. I've made sure Elaine knows that Lancelot and Guinevere are lovers. <laughs> How absolutely delicious. Isn't that... Rather unworthy of us. Unworthy? Well, what does that mean, Mother? Oh, I've forgotten. What does it mean? Yes, it is unworthy. But I don't like to be told, Frick. <laughs> Frick! <laughs> Frick! <laughs> <laughs> I warned you. You didn't listen. What's happened? How did she die? She died of a broken heart. Because of you. I'm sorry. I judged them too harshly. The blame was mine, too. I picked Lancelot, after all. I wish I'd told them that. It might have made it easier. Oh, great news! Great news, Nimoway! Arthur's coming home! Oh, thank God! Did he find the Holy Grail? No. But what of it? He's coming home. <gasps> Holy Grail or no Holy Grail, he should never have left. Merlin is free. He can start living his own life again. Yes, and it should be with you, my child. Your true vocation is Merlin. <laughs> God doesn't want you when you love another. Um, I, uh, I shouldn't really say this in these hallowed walls. <laughs> <laughs> 
faith is supreme, of course, but love is even better. <sighs> Careful, my dear. These steps are very slippery. Where are we going? To my land, the land of magic. Can I create monsters? No, if you wish. You're so good to me, Auntie. It won't all be fun and games. Arthur's coming back. Ah. There'll be things I have to teach you. Is Mother coming? No, we don't need her anymore. Mav, where are you taking my son? It's time. Without a word? Without a buy or leave? I have to make him ready. You're not taking him. He's my son. He's mine. I gave him love. You gave him toys. I gave him life. I'm never letting him go. <laughs> that was very clever, Auntie. My love. My love. Quick. My love. Am I so beautiful? Beyond words, my love. Am I? on your soul. He obviously didn't have any on the rest of you. Why is everybody suddenly against me? Frick, I'm leaving you with your misery and pain, but with no more magic powers. Now you will wander through the world, ugly and alone, just as if you are human. Goodbye, Frick. I'll miss you. No, I won't. Why didn't you kill him, Auntie Mab? Because that's what he wanted me to do. Lancelot has kept his word. We have to ride in with our banners held high, Sire. You're right, Gawain. Raise your banners and your hearts, men! We're home! Where is everyone? Something's wrong, sire. It's like this kind of up and coming. What's wrong here? a lot. I'll tell you. Who the devil are you? Elegantly put. Who the devil? Yes, indeed. Who the devil? Well, don't you recognize me? No. Should I? Oh. I'm hurt. Here, in my heart. Not usually my most vulnerable spot. I recognize you, father. Father? I'm your long lost son, Mordred. No, how is that possible? What could I say? Is your mother? Not is, father. Was. She passed over into a better world. She sleeps alone at last. A great loss. 
One day she was laughing, smiling, the next, gone, like a summer's breeze, in the midst of life, etc., etc., and so on and so forth. It's why I'm here. I don't understand. To protect your interests, Father. You see, your interests are my interests. Whilst you were away on this great spiritual quest to cleanse your soul, how should I put it? You were being betrayed. Mordred! That's enough. It isn't. Well, come, Merlin, let's speak the truth at last. Father... This isn't the time! Father, Lancelot betrayed you with the Queen. What? Or should it be the Queen betrayed you with Lancelot? No, no matter. No point being pedantic. You were betrayed. Guinevere? This isn't the place to discuss this matter. Oh, I think it's the perfect place. Is it true? Arthur, you are just returned. We must talk calmly. Guinevere, is it true? Yes, it's true. Modred, you have no right to be here. I have every right to be here. We all have. This isn't a private matter. It concerns us all. How could you do that to me? Didn't you think of me at all? You left me alone for years. Did you not think of me? What of my honor finding out my husband had had a child by a woman named Morgan Le Fay? Good one. Oh, come, Father. This is becoming distressingly personal. Well, you're forgetting it's a matter of state. Matter of state? We are talking treason oh. here, aren't we? My lords? I don't see it as treason. She betrayed me. And only me. That's enough. No, sire. Mordred is right. You are the king. That makes her adultery treason. But then we must condemn her to death. I really think we should do that. It's the law. It's harsh. It's meant to be. My lords, this is a time when we should temper justice with mercy. After all, your religion proclaims it. Let he who is not guilty of sin cast the first stone. Now, I know I have been guilty in my time, and I suspect that you have been too. I must confess, I have sinned a little. <laughs> so, we make excuses for her because she's a queen. Because she is human. No, because she is Arthur's wife. Are we going back to one law for the rulers and one for the ruled? Is that the way it is? Arthur, I thought Camelot was to be different. It is. Then show the world you mean it. Merlin, what should I do? In the end, you must uphold the law. Guinevere will be tried for treason. A splendid decision, both fair and just, eh, Father? Now, let's drink and enjoy yeah. ourselves. I want you out of Camelot. But, Father, I've only just arrived. I thought we could reminisce about old times and play happy family. Stop him talking! You can't mean that, Father. I'm your beloved son, the Crown Prince, your one and only heir. I want you out of my sight. Embrace me, Father. Never! Or I'll take what's rightfully mine. God seize him! Don't get up. I know my way out. I'm sorry, Father, but I'm going to destroy you. And this time your pet wizard won't save you. years ago. Will you keep it? Yes. But what made you change your mind? Well, the king is coming home. Merlin is free to be with me. I discovered all I want is Merlin. 
Will you agree to live with him in a place that I choose? If you make me whole again. I have to warn you, Nim Wei, that if you go to this place, you can never leave it. Will he come to me there? Yes, he will. Then do it, ma'am. Always left everything to the last moment. But then my memory of Lancelot is that he never got anything right. Thank God. And so Lancelot and Guinevere rode out of my story and into legend. What's the meaning of this? You tricked us, Father. You pretended to condemn the queen to the stake, then you had her rescued by your damned wizard. You hadn't even the courage to set her free yourself. That's true. I should have done it. One law for you and another for the rest of we us. We can't live like that! Do you hear? They can't live like that. I call upon all true-born Britons to rally to freedom's flag. Depose them. You caught me by surprise, Father. I know how that is. Nobles, the time for talking is over. Those who value right and justice follow me. you a message that she'll be waiting for you at the door of magic. You're a liar. Merlin, how can you say such a thing? You're a liar! <laughs> I'm glad. Lost all the skills I taught you. I've lost none of them, and it was Frick who taught me. Don't mention that, Ingrid. 
He's left my employment without a reference. Anyway, Nimue has gone, and she does want you to join her when you're ready. Merlin, my nobleman don't want you with us against Mordred. They say that if you come, then they won't follow me. Ah. What will you do now? Close my books, break my wand, and retire. I have a life to live and uh, a chance to live it. Nimoy? I'm going to meet her now. Will you be able to deal with Mordred? It's just one more battle, and right is on our side. I'm proud of you, Arthur. Don't worry about me, Merlin. I've still got Excalibur. Look where we are. This is all mad. Forget her. We've wasted so much of our lives together already. Now it's our turn. Isn't it what you always wanted? Surprise! Stop talking, Mordred. 
and fight. I thought you might enjoy a little light conversation before you die. But, as you wish. <laughs> Father, if you'd lived, I don't think we'd have been very happy as a family. What is it, Merlin? I heard a scream. I didn't hear anything. It's the sound of battle. Arthur and Mordred. No. It's nothing to do with us. I'll be back very soon. I'll be waiting for you. Boys. Very soon, I swear. Never see her again. I cannot save you. Don't die, Mordred. Die, dear Auntie Mab. That's the last thing I shall do.
you'd come. How goes the day, Arthur? I've seen better. to you, Merlin. I told you the answer was a joyous god. That's my final Lancelot. <sighs> it wasn't Lancelot, was it? It was the boy, Galahad. It's human to make mistakes, Merlin. And part of you is human. The best part. Goodbye, Merlin. My sister Mav was right about one thing. When we're forgotten, we cease to exist. What are you doing here, Frick? Betraying my principles, I'm afraid. Indeed, I've always believed that it was better to be a coward for a second than dead for a lifetime. And yet, here I am fighting. Fighting on the side of right, which is worse. And Map? As a matter of fact, I gave in my notice. If you're going after her, Master Merlin, you'll need help.
can still deal with these poor humans. What do you plan to do? Use your puny swords and axes on me? No, Mab. I'm just going to forget you. Merlin? What are you doing? You can't fight us or frighten us. You're just not important enough anymore. We forget you, Queen Mab. Go join your sister in the lake and be forgotten. Look at me. I was trying to smile, but it was the smile of desolation. Inside, I felt only the pity and the terror and the waste of it all. Everyone I ever loved and whoever loved me, all gone, all gone down. And then Galahad returned and brought with him the Holy Grail and spring, and the land became fertile again. And the cycle of death and darkness ended. And so does my story. Now, if my story entertained or enchanted, you may show your appreciation in any way you see fit, but particularly with money. Master Merlin, did you ever find him away? No, I never found him away. Or even the cave again. Ugh. What about the magic? Can you still do magic? No. I got out of the habit, and besides, nobody believes in it anymore. Thank you. It's all over, friend. There is no more. It's not exactly the way I remember, Master Merlin. Fick. Is it you? Yes, it's me. <laughs> oh, I must say, you do tell a rather good tale, terribly exciting and all. But I was intrigued that you chose to omit certain... Well, that's the way they like it. And besides, I didn't think they'd believe it if I told the way it really was. And how are you doing in this world, Master Frick? I mean, there will always be a need for the perfect gentleman's gentleman. And I was and always will be one of the best, you see. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh. It is. Sir Rupert. Yes, well, I found him grazing in a field and we got to reminisce. <laughs> Dear old boy, shouldn't you be dead by now? No, no. There's a little magic in me, too, Merlin. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Nimue. What about her? Oh, nothing, really, other than she was inquiring about you when I saw her last month. I don't understand. What happened? Sometime after Mab disappeared, her spells began to lose their power, and Nimue was set free. Where is she, Frick? Sir Rupert knows. Thank you, my old friend, for everything. Oh, no need to thank me. I just love happy endings.
Patrick found you. I never believed I would ever see you again. So many years lost. You've gone old. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Does it matter? No, not anymore. <laughs> but I, I think I have one last trick. no more. That's the end of magic. <laughs> <laughs>